Okay, today I'm going to show you how to successfully germinate uh, these Araucaria raucana seeds, uh, also called monkey puzzle tree. Um, it's a quite uh, simple process. Uh, usually, it's best to to not overcomplicate things when it comes to when it comes to germinating seeds. Now, you're only going to be needing like a casserole with a lid that you can close. You can also use uh, if you don't have a lid, you can use uh, uh, like some cling film to to cover it. Um, I use for the the soil mix. I use a 50% uh, peat moss and 50% sand. Now, don't don't get uh, stuck on this uh, on this uh, one. Um, you can use cocoa coir, perlite, uh, sand, uh, potting compost, uh, many many other things. Um, now, as and of course the seeds, uh, which I ordered uh, online. Now, of course. As an extra uh, step, I like putting this in the in the oven at uh, around 20 degrees for just a few minutes, just to make sure I uh, I uh, kill off uh, all the bacteria that can uh, cause any problems uh, afterwards. So this is an extra step. Again, don't overcomplicate things if you don't have an oven or you just uh, feel like. Uh, it's just don't do it if you don't feel like it. Uh, in my experience, uh, it helps a bit. Now, of course, there can be left some spores or bacteria on the seeds as well, but you don't cook them because you're gonna they're not gonna be viable viable anymore. So I just do this as an extra uh, precaution uh, just for the soil mix. Okay, we're here at the oven, so I'm just gonna place this here and just put inside of it the. The two ingredients that I use for the uh, for the potting mix. I'm just gonna put the peat moss and then the sand. Just gonna mix it up a bit, just to make sure it's most of it gets uh, direct heat. Okay, close it up. And then start start the oven just for about I think 10 minutes uh, should be should be just fine okay around uh, 10 minutes has passed you can leave it more you can leave it like uh, 10 20 minutes should be fine now let's see I want to get burned here so I'm gonna use this yeah, looks fine. Now, next step is to hydrate uh, to hydrate the the soil mix. Now, I'm just gonna empty the the soil mix that I took from the oven inside this casserole here. Let's see, I want to fill it up. Okay. Releasing some heat. I'm gonna mix it up quite well. It's quite hot. You can you can wait for it to, to cool off a bit, a bit longer. Um, I just rushed into it, but it's fine. Now I'm just gonna add some water here. Hope you guys can see. Now. So not too much water for now at least just give it a good mix it's kind of like making a cake or something now the trick of the water part is like with any any seeds because you'll see when you try germinating uh, stuff usually you get a lot of mold problems um, one of the issue that, of course, mold can come even with a little bit of humidity, which is unavoidable. You really need a little bit of humidity in order to germinate most stuff. But if it's too much, for sure, you're going to have a big problem. So the trick is to get the right amount of moisture in the potting mix, which should look not like this. See? 
I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's dripping. It's dripping a bit of uh, of water. So it the trick is to make it be like wet, but not dripping when you when you squeeze it like this. Now, it's dripping just a little bit and I'm squeezing quite hard. So, we're close to it. I'm just mixing all the dry parts. Make sure it's all mixed together properly. Now, let's check it again. Okay. Should be good now. Okay, we're not gonna be placing the seeds in the soil that we prepared. Now the way we're gonna do it is the the sharper tip should go down for one third, maybe half of the of the seed. Now, in this point, you don't need to worry about uh, spacing them out. Or anything like that because uh, they're not gonna be staying here they're gonna be staying here only until they uh, start uh, germinating so that's uh, as soon as they germinate we're gonna move them to a bigger uh, individual pot so for now they're just fine like this one next to the other and that's it I'll just close it up so nice and tight. Then you just place it uh, near a nice and warm uh, window and just start checking on it in about maybe one week. Like check each of them individually see and see uh, if uh, any of them have sprouted. Okay guys, it's been... Uh... A bit longer than, than two weeks for me, uh, that's just because it wasn't very very warm where I kept uh, the seeds. But uh, I've been checking, the, checking them regularly and uh, now I see that uh, some of them, well most of them, they have started to root already. So just be very very gentle when you pull this out, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel a bit of uh, resistance uh, when you touch it. And uh, that usually means that uh, they've started to to root. Now I have I've got uh, quite a few of these uh, uh, rooted, germinated. So now it's uh, simple. I'm just gonna remove uh, this one for example. It needs a bit more time. Uh, I'm just gonna remove uh, all of them that uh, have uh, rooted, that have germinated. And uh, I'm just gonna pot them up uh, individually. And uh, from this point on, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check them every day and uh, see how many more uh, have rooted and uh, just pot them up uh, as they uh, as they uh, come. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll keep you updated uh, with these uh, once they're all uh, potted up in uh, individual uh, pots. Thank you very much.